Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can beat every single stage clearing 25 of the clones from the wipe them out uh, attack of the clones or you know well, I call it attack of the clones but that's a Star Wars movie but anyway the wipe them out event that's come with the Android 21 Dokken Fest celebration how it works is you have three turns to beat phases one and two, two turns to beat phases three and four, and then you have to beat the final phase, phase five, uh, in one go. The enemies will get tougher each time, and there are five enemies per stage every single time. In terms of team build, it's going to be most times are good to prioritize all out super attacks. So you want to sort out your units and kind of assess which ones have all out super attacks, However, you can possibly get through a couple stages with just multiple attacks uh, as well. Earthbred fighters and android category characters do have a boost to their damage. So make sure that you try and bring those characters along. If possible, it is going to make your time a little bit easier in terms of beating the opposition. This can be relatively challenging, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build teams uh, for every single stage, show you guys each stage, and also I'm going to show you guys the first stage, which is the easiest one, which you can do entirely free to play. Now, you get 5 stones per stage, depending on how many enemies you've beaten, all the way up to 25. So, even if you don't manage to beat all the enemies, you should still attempt each stage as best as possible so that you can obviously obtain yourself some great rewards and the opposition take massively reduced damage from basically the incorrect typing so if you don't have a type advantage you don't do a lot of damage now this first team is basically the easiest team it has physical krillin it has the master roshi lr goku lr you're going to be linking up whichever unit you can with krillin to not give him an 18 key it is very important that we give Krillin only his 12 key super attacks. The reason being is his 12 key is his AoE attack. If we get his 18 key, there's no guarantee on the 12 key, and that will give us some problems. In terms of support items, we are bringing the Bomber support item and the World Tournament Announcer support item as well, which we'll use in the final two phases. It's very important as well that you bring whatever support memory you can. I like to bring the Bojack Gohan movie support memory, I believe it is, which kicks in from the fifth turn, and traditionally this is quite helpful if you don't have like a direct buff support memory. For almost all of these stages we are going to be using the World Tournament Announcer and the Bulma support items because of the abilities that they give, and yeah, that's really about it. So as you can see Krillin doing his AoE super attack, Krillin is going to do a second round fortunately, which is going to save us, but yeah, it's a little bit tight, uh, you could get a little bit better off with Krillin, obviously uh, I didn't have B-Pan's active skill, unfortunately I'd used it already, uh, so you can have that as well. The next one is obviously AGL team, here we're using double Marion Vegeta's, which definitely feels the best. You don't have to use double Margin Vegeta if you manage to get off his attack in the fourth turn uh, before you finish off with everyone else. So you don't have to get it with Margin Vegeta, you can just use a friend one. However, it's a lot easier if you've got two of them. Ideally here, the big thing with Vegeta is to give him key. So you actually want to prioritize key based supports or characters that share key with him over units that don't. Uh, the more key he has, the better he's going to be and the chances of him getting his 18 key off are much much higher so definitely bring your best key supports that you can the AGL great Sandman and Turles are great options next we have the int team this one is being led by double Piccolo Jr you will save Piccolo Jr's active skill for the final phase and what you're going to do here is you're just going to have them sit in the opposite rotations stick them in the second slot and they should get enough additionals to finish the enemy off because this is the longest of the fights because you're basically waiting for the piccolos to additional the enemy down you are going to save your boma items and use them only from the third phase so that is the 
third wave of enemies. You will finish off the opposition with one of the active skills, so you can use the other Piccolo's active skill in stage 4 if you want to save some time as well and guarantee getting to stage 5. Next we have the tech team here, it is Giant Ape Vegeta's time to shine. You want to prioritize Key here as well, uh, but you do want to also be careful. Uh, Vegeta can get uh, some additional Key by being hit. So in situations where you can place him to be hit, you definitely want to do so. Uh, the opposition do sometimes fire attacks back at you, so make sure you do that, but only if they're attacking before he does. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same concept as the Martian Vegeta run, prioritizing key mainly and just ensuring that you have one in each rotation. That's the ideal kind of metric here. So this yeah, can also, again, work with only one Vegeta if you are able to get that Vegeta lined up with doing his first attack within the first wave of the fourth phase. So keep that in mind. Next we have the strength team. Here we're using double burly, but you don't need double burly, you only need one if you have piccolo. If you don't have piccolo, you will need double burly and sticking them in each slot. Burly is very similar to Krillin in the sense that he needs to get his 12 key super attack. You don't need to get his 18 key. You want his 12 key because you need to get the double supers. Broly's 12 key is AoE. Once Broly supers, he's guaranteed to super again. So all you realistically need is Broly to do one 12 key and he should be able to finish it, everything off with the other one. If you only have one Broly as the friend, you can use a strength piccolo to sit in the other rotation and he'll do essentially the exact same thing. So pretty easy. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, you should be able to pause the video at all the team builds, so you shouldn't have too many problems. And honestly speaking, it's not too bad. They're not too hard or anything. Once you get the right builds, you should be fine. Most times prioritize support, key, and attack boosts, and you should be fine from there. But that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you need any more help, let me know. If you're looking for replacements, leave a comment. And yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, please, to collect your mission rewards, there's a huge chunk of stones that you can get from this event. Uh, so it's definitely something you should look at spending a little bit of time getting into. Uh, as you can see, we made 30. So really good stuff. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Bye.